All right, ready? Go. <laughs> the struggle is real. Today I have a hot 40 volt brushless lawnmower and I'm gonna do a tear down and show you what's inside. It has a 40 volt brushless motor so it can be used on many other EV projects like electric bike, go-kart or a scooter. I'm gonna remove the main motor and hook it up to my brushless controller and show you how it works. But first let me briefly show you what we got on this lawnmower. This is a self-propelled lawnmower, so there's got to be another motor to drive the two rear wheels. Here's the battery bay, it has two battery slots, but the other slot is just for storage. There's only one slot that you can plug in the battery. It has a couple of LED lights on the front, so you can mow your lawn in the dark. For this to turn on, the handle must be fully extended and locked like this. So there's gonna be a switch in here that will enable or disable the whole lawnmower. I removed this plastic bar in the middle and it's got 12 T20 screws. And here's the switch on the side here. It looks like a switch from a microwave oven, which would look something like this. And these are the latches, so that will lock in place when you turn. This piece has a piece of rubber on the back here and it's removable. This is actually a reverse switch. It is normally on. So right now, the handle is fully extended and it is on. But when I press on it, you hear a click, right? So when I press on it, it's off. And when you push the handle down, that will turn off the switch. It will compress down on the switch and turn it off. And therefore, when the handle is not fully extended, this switch is pressed down. And therefore, you cannot operate the lawnmower. This is the inside of the handle switch. So inside here, there is also another switch. So when you pull this black handle here, it will turn this and turn on the switch right here. like so. One of the wire to the switch is pinched right here. It is pinched so bad that the insulation is gone. There's only a little bit of wires left. So this wire is almost cut. So if your lawnmower is not working, open this cover and check this wire. Here's the inside of the handle switch. So this is the speed selector. It's just a variable resistor. There are two more switches. So when you pull this handle, you will turn on this switch right here. When you press on the blue button, you push down on this piece of plastic here and that will push down on this switch right here. So here's how you put the handle together. So this piece of handle goes in here and then it goes into the hole here. When you want to put this cover back in here, you want to put the lever with the spring in here first. You see the spring here goes into that slot right there. This lever here does not have a spring. So now you just put this right on, just like that. To remove the wheel, pry off the hubcap with a flathead screwdriver and inside, got a half inch lock nut. Very easy to remove. So down here on the bottom of the unit, you can see there's another motor here that drives the axle, which in turn drives the two rear wheels. The rear wheel is a little bit different because it's connected to a gear here to drive the wheel. But the process is basically the same. Uh, remove the hubcap and the nut, and then you can just wiggle it out. 
here's the gear from the axle which is connected to the teeth on the wheel around the wheel on the inside I got the wheels out the next step is to remove the top white plastic cover and there are only eight screws one two three four and four more screws on the back and these are T20 torque screw next step is to remove this handle here and there are only two screws and it will come out like that here's the inside of the unit there are quite a few connectors that need to be disconnected before I can pull this cover out we got two motors and two controllers this is the main motor that connects to the cutting blade it is a hall sensorless brushless DC motor meaning it doesn't have a hall sensor it's only powered by a three-phase power cable the brushless DC controller looks a lot more like my e-bike controller but it's a lot more simple it just has a three-phase output to the motor DC input from the battery and then this is the uh, throttle control that's pretty much it it's very simple and down here we got the DC motor which connects to the main axle to drive the two wheels this wire is the main power cable that goes to the motor and I can tell it's a brush DC motor because this is the only wire that goes in the motor a brush DC motor only needs two wire to power it this is the brush DC controller for the uh, brush motor and it's also the main controller for the entire system now it's time to remove the motor for this one here there are only four nuts that hold the motor together and it, you can just pull it out here's the drivetrain of the system it has a motor gear axle and then we got gear on this side there's also a pull cable switch and this is connected to the handlebar so you can pull you can see the spring here it's a spring loaded switch all right ready go The struggle is real. Go. Variable speed. That's pretty good. This is the end of my video disassembling the lawnmower. I've got a motor here, and in my next video, I'm gonna bench test this motor and I'm show you how to run this motor with a standard controller and a battery. Till next time, thanks for watching.